my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, fellow True Apostolic Church members here in Zambia, but especially my brothers and sisters in the DRC. I am in receipt of uh, many messages from you, my dear brothers and sisters from the DRC, because of a message, a video message that is circulating on social media platforms, depicting me kneeling down before ministers and before this with Elder Donge Stali. I know that uh, those who seek to bring the True Apostolic Church down to its knees are insinuating that I was kneeling down before New Apostolic Church ministers and apologizing to them that I now want to get back to the New Apostolic Church. I want to put the record straight that the district ministers that had gathered in that meeting are true apostolic church district elders and district evangelists whom i had convened in lusaka in an extraordinary meeting to among other things discuss and resolve issues that were affecting the church especially as a result of the unbecoming behavior of district elder Tonge Stali, who, as you all may be aware, is suspended indefinitely and cannot perform any ministerial functions. He's also suspended from the church administration staff. This I did out of a deep sense of responsibility to the church as the bishop responsible for the church here in Zambia. So please let it be known and let I hope that by this video message the message will be sent across and clarified. I can never go back to the New Apostolic Church Zambia Limited, a company limited by guarantee. God has redeemed us from Egypt. God has redeemed us from Sodom and Gomorrah. And God is guiding us safely to the promised land, which is the day of his son. In this latter house, the true apostolic church, which he has established in our time. I am still very much active as a bishop here in Zambia, and by the grace of God, trying to navigate together with the district ministers that serve in various provinces and districts to navigate the difficulties of our time in the church. And these difficulties are not strange. They are because this is the narrow way, the path that Christ himself has reestablished in our time. So we are not going to look back at the pleasures of Sodom, at the meals and splendor of the buildings of Egypt. That will not do. We will serve God in truth and in spirit. So my dear brothers and sisters in the DRC, fellow ministers, please let your hearts be at peace. The church here is established and by the grace of God, we shall reach the promised land. I hope this will settle all your fears and questions so that you can continue to pray for the church here as we pray for the church in the DRC. The time of martyrdom has come. The time of the early apostles who were killed and persecuted for the truth. This is the time in which we live and we shall live through this time with boldness and courage and resolve because for us to live is to Christ. If we die, we die to Christ. Whether we die or live, for us it does not matter. We remain a property of Jesus Christ. So may God bless you. May God keep you. Let's continue soldiering on and defending the truth 
the authentic truth of the gospel of Christ. I love you all and I pray for you and I hope that the Lord can gather us again, that we can see each other and be able to share fellowship and joy as always. God bless you and good night.